Appalachian Wellness, for a new tomorrow and a new you. I'm Raymond Owenbrink, president and owner of Appalachian Wellness in Asheville. We're going to talk about chronic inflammatory response syndrome, SIRS, fungal testing, and how it's done, specifically the Environmental Relative Moldiness Index, which is a test called ERMI, and the Health Effects Roster of Type-Specific Formers of Mycotoxins and Inflammagen, second version, also known as Hurts Me Too. Perhaps you can understand why we in medicine like to use acronyms wherever we can. It's a mouthful. The most important step of SIRS therapy is identification of and removal avoidance of any re-exposure. This cannot be overemphasized. Very, very important concept because if you don't do this, you're not going to get better. Micrometrics is a lab test, the lab company that provides extensive testing via what's called DNA amplification of environmental samples. Basically, they take house dust and they run it through a, an amplifier system, essentially, that identifies the DNA in that house dust and comes up with what the problems are. The ERMI looks at 30 spe 36 species divided into 26 uh, specific species clusters associated with water damaged buildings, group one, and then 10 common species clusters not associated with water damaged building called group two. The number calculated as the ERMI is actually the sum of the logs of the concentrations of the DNA of the different species. The mold index is the difference between groups one and groups two. And there's the website for micrometrics and some articles on how they designed that test. The safe level of ERMI will depend on other factors such as the patient's C4A and alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone is noted below. The important thing is you have to keep the ERMI to a certain level depending on what the C4A is. A thorough and careful history may reveal clues to other exposure risks from dinoflagellates, either aquatic, freshwater, or marine saltwater, ciguatoxin from consumption of tropical reef predator fish, the larger fish, Lyme disease, Lyme vaccine, or other vaccine exposures such as HPV for cervical cancer prevention, the human papillomavirus. If a one-time vaccine triggered the cytokine storm preceding the onset of CIRS on, the patient could be counseled to avoid repeat of that vaccine or other exposure future vaccines that may cause cytokine storms to avoid future problems. More information is available.